Sarah and Brent, that all unfolded at the bus stop behind me here and right across the street from police headquarters. Now, police are asking for your help. If you know anything about the man in the video you are about to see, they want you to contact them. You get me where I'm going, that's it. Raymond Zabrowski minds his business on CT Transit, but can't help what he overhears. Going after women, you know, I mean, go right into their purses and everything, and nothing's being done about it. We asked if he's seen the man donning a Frank Pepe shirt and Joker hat, seen violently attacking a woman last month on an empty bus. Zabrowski says he's never caught a bus on West Main Street while a driver was away. Died somebody in. Tuesday, Bristol police released this video showing the moment a man is seen crouched to his knees disturbing a fellow passenger, following her to the front of the bus and hitting and punching her violently until she escapes and he puts his headphones back on. I feel horrible for her and I certainly hope they catch him. The attack happened on May 18th. Tiana Durham says it's why she won't let her children ride public transportation. With no bus driver, someone shouldn't be sitting there then. It's not fair to other people, but it's not fair that someone has to be attacked. The woman eventually sought help. Police say she does not know the attacker. But Durham says Bristol has a larger homeless problem that also causes safety concerns. People can't even go to the parks safely because those people are lingering in the parks. CT Transit rides were free through April under a state-sponsored program. Officials say homeless people from across the state came to Bristol shelters during the day. Recent downtown developments, including a 104-unit apartment with retail space in front of this bus stop, could soon displace temporary residents. Again, police are seeking a man donning a Frank Pepe shirt and a Joker hat seen in that video. If you know anything about that man, you are urged to contact Bristol Police. I'm live in Bristol, Samaya Hernandez, Fox 61, Connecticut's News Station.